Hello, guys and gals. Listen, this is a freebie. This is just something additional to what I'm already working on. But <clears throat> let's say you have an air coil on your generator and you want it to be more productive. Let's say, for example, that you have one of those triangular ones where the magnets have to come north and south simultaneously at, at the lines of the, the triangle to produce more, obviously. <clears throat> because as the north pushes over here on this side, it's going to create a current going this way. The south going this way is going to create a current going that way. And they add up. But anyway, that's not the case The case here that I want to. I want to show you a, a very simple way to increase your productivity with an air coil, a triangular air coil. It could be circular too. It, it works for both. But anyway, magnetism has, has a way of just, be, because air is As I not, was saying, magnetism, uh, because there's not a good conductor, air is not a good conductor. The only thing that uh, magnetism does in an air surrounding, it does this. It, it blossoms out. Okay, here you are trying to collect all that energy with your your coils, your copper coils right on top. And this energy is going like this. That's not what you want. What you do want is like this little kid is showing you, you want to concentrate the energy into one focal spot. So in, in the case that you're seeing right there, a little kid is focusing the energy of the sun into one focal spot. And he's going to create a fire. Okay. What you want to do is concentrate all that magnetic energy, focus it in through your coils. That's what you want to do. Not You don't want it to do this. Okay, so let me show you how you do this. So as I was saying, uh, iron has a very unique property towards magnetism. Iron is like a suction cup towards magnetism. If you place a piece of iron close to a magnet, it will suck the magnetic lines of force towards it. Okay. So what you want to do here, you have your uh, your uh, copper coil, you know your triangular copper coil and you have magnets that are going to go right over them. remember the 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 field from the magnets does this right it's just blossoming out what you want to do is entice the magnetism to go through your coils how do you do that well you have Two strips of copper in your in your diamond shaped uh, coil, your triangular coil. You have two long legs, and say they're about this wide. Uh, each each leg is about this wide. What you want to do is real simple. You place a piece of iron that that same width underneath those copper coils. So you're going to place two pieces of iron about yay long according to the size of your coil, the same amount of length. And what's going to happen is when your magnet goes over, that piece of iron is going to pull the magnetic lines right through your copper coils. So you're going to have two strips of iron for each of the diamond legs. And it's going to pull the energy right through the, the copper coils. So in other words, you're concentrating that energy right through your coils. You're enticing the magnetic energy to go through your coils by placing a piece of iron underneath. That's what you do. It's real simple, and it works. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a great day.
incidentally, I kind of forgot, but in the title of, of this video, it says, uh, without increasing lens. Okay. And that's a fact. Uh, you're not doing this. You're not wrapping the metal with wire. You're not doing that. You're just placing the iron underneath your coils. Because when you do this, when you when you wrap wire around a core, you're making yourself a break, an electromagnetic break. This becomes an elect electromagnet when the magnet passes over. So you don't want to break, okay? Because that's going to be that's going to defeat the purpose. You don't want to break your 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 engine. You want it to let it slide right over. So you don't do this. You you don't wrap wire around the core that's that's an electromagnet you don't want that in my previous videos i showed I already demonstrated that's that's not what you do with a generator that's not what you do you don't want that but the way i'm showing you right now uh you're you're not wrapping it around the iron it's just the iron is just underneath the the, the copper windings okay on, on each leg that's all you're doing so you're not increasing your lens factor, okay? All right, wanted to clarify that, thank you.